everybody. <clears throat> Today I'm going to show you a little trick on how to locate the tunnels of these little aggravating gophers. I'm assuming they're gophers. You, gophers, uh, moles, and voles all tend to do this and they really wreck your yard and they'll kill some of your plants. I know they got some of my trees too so now it's war. Uh, what you envisioning they, uh, is their tunnels. They're very close to the surface and just kind of picture where it would be between that first mound to the middle mound to the third mound. So there'll be a tunnel somewhere. So what you want to do, I got one of these pipe locators. Got a little sharp tip here on the bottom help for locating pipes and stuff under the ground. I'm assuming you could probably use a piece of rebar, a broomstick, or maybe, maybe one of those paint poles extensions for the rollers and stuff. Um, just something small to poke to find that tunnel. What will happen once you hit that tunnel, you'll know it because it will kind of collapse in on itself and then you'll see it. And then the trick is, and I can't say how good this works, I ain't quite sure, is use a piece of strawberry chewing gum. Now it has to be strawberry. Something about that flavor they like and they'll eat it and then that will actually do them in. So the regular bubble gum flavors aren't going to do it. What I've been told. I've done this trick in another area and I haven't seen any mounds pop up in that area since I put the uh, strawberry gum in so I'm not sure if that's because of that or they moved on and if this doesn't do the trick the next thing I'll do is back up the car to the area put the garden hose in the exhaust pipe put that in the tunnel and uh, gas them that way get rid of them. Alright let me set up with a tripod so y'all can see how I'll do this uh, probing. Okay as you see I've set it between the two mounds. I'm going to start poking holes about a half inch a piece until all the ground collapses in. Oh, there we go. See how it's falling down? I done located that hole, so I'm going to kind of wall that out just enough to drop the gum in. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to continue on and see if I can't locate if there's any more tunnels going around in there. And it's almost center between the two mounds. You'll feel the resistance as you're going in. And that one just fell right on through. Well, hopefully you did saw that or not. No, nope, it just seems to be this one right there. And you can feel the top of the ground of that tunnel where it has a little resistance. And then it falls on down. And you see right here, you've got that little resistance right there. And then it falls on down those few inches. So there is the tunnel. So now for the chewing gum. That's the chewing gum I got. Strawberry. Got some other orange in there. I'm going to go and drop a stick in there. I'm hoping this works. I guess if it ain't, the next step is the ga uh, the good old carbon monoxide off the uh, exhaust pipe. Okay everybody, I hope this helps. If anybody else has any other ways they've done it before, uh, give us a holler because I really like getting rid of these guys because they're killing my trees out and other stuff and unsightly little mounds they can't keep doing. Okay everybody, take care. God bless.